Welcome, folks. Welcome back again. Today, I would like to study the issue of importing a word a table, word table into a frame maker document, and see how that works. Here we are in our frame maker uh, document. We have a table, and if we go to Control T. The style table, designer style, is border blue, as you can see. So basically, I want to import a word table and make it display just like our frame maker table here in the border blue style. So there are two ways to do that. One is to go to the uh, word document right here and select the table. Control copy. I'm going to copy paste. This has four columns as you can see. Going back here and Control V. I paste it. So this looks exactly like it did in the uh, Word document. So if you like it like this, you can leave it. But for, for the purpose of uniformity, presentation I want this word table to look exactly like the one above so what to do basically control triple click I select the table then now from table design designer I want to assign border blue style click apply okay now this is uh, how it looks it accommodated all four columns and it kind of resembles <laughs> the one above but uh, the the colors the shading is off so let me see why this is so I right click let's go to custom ruling and shading all right now custom ruling and shading here let's see the show current settings I click that see it's fills me everything is mixed and the colors are different whereas in this table if you want to see the current settings everything is from table from table that is it complies with the table style sheet that we call border blue so one attempt to correct and save this table is to assign all from table values to the selections and to the cell shading as you can see from table color again from table and I'll click apply okay here you go it now more like looks like the uh, table one above but where's my header this is my header row there is no header row well the reason is this is not actually a heading now write this somewhere when you import or copy paste the table from word word transforms the header row into a plain uh, body row like you can read in the status bar here it says this is a body cell this is not a heading cell so this is just like this other cell right and one way you can test this is I'll copy this now imagine uh, my file is here now if I add more rows you see in the second page I don't have the header row anymore because this is not a real real heading row whereas if I were to do that with this table copy and now watch what happens when I hit tab and add new rows see in the second page 
FrameMaker automatically displays the header row because it's a real header row. So how are we going to add heading row to this imported word table? It's simple really. We select right click, add rows or columns. Now we're going to add one table header row. So this is what you should select from this list. We could have added footer row, uh, just a normal cell row below selection, above selection. But I want to add a header row. So click. And here you go, the blue color is displayed. So we have to select, cut, okay, remove the cells from table, select, control V, replace the current rows, okay. So this is as good as it gets. As you can see, the paragraph style that defines the table cells and paragraph uh, style that defines the heading cells are not repeated uh, in the word table and because when we do that the frame maker does not automatically impose the uh, paragraph style that that is part of border blue style so i think this this should be a known issue uh, with Adobe and if there is a way to transform the word paragraph styles in the table automatically to the uh, table paragraph styles in, in a frame maker table I would like to learn that too but I honestly don't know of a simple straightforward way to make these cells appear just like the uh, the ones we have in the FrameMaker table. Of course, what you can do is, this is cell heading. I can select, go to paragraph catalog, and cell heading. Okay, I can do that. And this is cell body in FrameMaker. I can select, and cell body. Now, they look almost like identical. This is easy. Uh, with a 3x4 or 3x3 three three table, but imagine you have a table with, uh, I don't know, five, six columns and 100 rows. Uh, it, it will be very labor intensive uh, to select all of them and assign the frame maker paragraph styles to your imported word table cells. But then I, at this point, honestly, I don't know any other way to do it. And the situation is the same if you imp import the word uh, tables through the command import file. So I'm gonna go select this file and I'm gonna import it. It says unknown file type Microsoft Word 2016 and convert and I'll take the uh, default values and click import okay here they are but as such this is really still not editable and to make it editable you double click and you have text inset properties and here's a button called convert so this is still not converted to frame maker you click convert and select text inset again convert this operation there's no undo that's fine click ok ok now uh, we can control triple click select this table but it'll be the same uh, situation now i'm going to assign the border blue table style apply uh, we are back to the same situation where this is not really a header so you have to add a header row okay we got it blue and we have to select cut remove and then assign replace current rows now that's a real header because if we add tab and add new 
rows, the header row will be repeated in the second page. And likewise, again, you have to go back to Paragraph uh, Designer Catalog and assign the appropriate header and body cell paragraph styles so that our imported uh, word table will look exactly like the ones above. So yes, you can import a uh, word table into FrameMaker, but in terms of formatting, you have to do a little bit of work, especially when it comes to making sure the paragraph tags of cells and headers and footers look exactly the same in both the original FrameMaker tables and the imported word tables. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.